we bribed Iran to release Iranian Americans who were seized simply so they could be held hostage by Iran. The system is set up such that uh, this money, uh, these funds, uh, can only be parceled out for humanitarian purposes, food, medicine, uh, you know, uh, construction of uh, medical facilities, or even education. So what if the $6 billion you released to Iran is only for humanitarian purposes? What a dingleberry this guy is at math. That means you freed up $6 billion already allocated for Iran's terrorist activities. Now those funds can be used elsewhere for more terrorism. What a stupid thing for Kirby to say. Educational purposes, uh, but that each and every withdrawal is going to go through a series of checks and balances, checks by the Treasury Department. It's almost like what he just said, and he repeated this on Fox News, was parsed by an entire team of White House lawyers, White House spin doctors, White House clerks, to sound the most appealing to the American public. Oh, humanitarian aid, Mr. Kirby? Joe Biden is doing a good job. Checked by the Treasury National Bank, and quite frankly, uh, there'll be uh, a check on what they can withdraw uh, based on aid organizations and whatever companies need to be uh, contracted to help deliver these goods. Everything will be parceled out based on need. Can you imagine that in 2023, our present administration would be giving money to terrorists to blow up who knows how many innocent people? Over each of those withdrawal requests, and if we don't approve it, it won't get it won't get approved for uh, for delivery to uh, Iran. So this is not a blank check for them. Uh, it, it is very much going to be monitored, and there will be quite a bit of oversight uh, before any any dollars. Uh, Wow, what a hero. You know, instead of sending a check for $6 billion as a ransom payment to Iran, why didn't you send a Navy SEAL team to get the hostages back? Iran has just been paid a $6 billion bounty for taking hostages. They took hostages, some Iranian Americans, so they could get back five of their spies. They have to give up the right to spend the money any way they want to. To know what was in his head when he was talking to Lester. I mean, I, I heard the speculation before I came home with you that it might be that he was playing to his domestic audience there uh, in Iran. Not every nation around the world spins lies to their own people the way that the Biden administration spins lies to their own supporters. That's a perfectly plausible explanation, uh, but the but the parameters. Meaning, one of his aides floated that idea. Make sure to mention this, Mr. Kirby. It will make you sound professional. Of this arrangement, Andrea, are very clear, very concise, and the Iranians have signed up to this, uh, so there should be no doubt in anybody's mind uh, how this is going to work. Uh, and again, I think it's important to remember, this is not U.S. taxpayer dollars. It's not ransom. These were Iranian funds that had been frozen in a South Korean account that they did not have access to. All we're simply doing... This is a lie. Why were Iranian funds frozen? The frozen accounts were frozen in 2019 because of Iran's terrorist activities on the world stage. According to the Korea Times, since 2019, an estimated $7 billion has been held in two South Korean banks after the U.S. placed sanctions on Iran. That would be President Donald Trump, the lawful president of the United States is moving this money to Qatar, to Qatari National Bank, so that it can be accessible to them. It's not a prisoner deal, MSNBC. That's a lie. Iran took hostages because they wanted five unnamed Iranian spies detained in the U.S. on facing federal charges of spying to be released. At the same time, Iran said, pay us six billion dollars, and the Biden administration says, no problem, we're everyone's friend, unless you're Donald Trump. The National Security Council, with which you work, put out a statement saying that he, there would be no Americans returned this week. How are you defining that? Do you mean uh, not before Sunday or Monday? Or are, are we talking seven days going forward? Because it was some... Well, if you have no leverage over the terrorists of Iran placing bounties on Americans operating in that country, why would you ever expect them to be released in a timely manner? 
that since President Racy is coming to, the, to New York next week, he'll be in New York Monday, he's giving a speech on Tuesday that he might have the Americans released from house. Well, he's, their president's coming to America. Joe Biden should hold him hostage for $6 billion and get the money back. They're out of prison, but from house arrest, able to cross out of Iran, come home, be reunited with their families, finally, after years and years, and do that as a gesture on the stage at the UN, you know, when, when he's on the world stage. Yeah, uh, look, I, I wish I could be more specific with you, uh, but I, I just simply can't. We don't, uh, we don't have that all. This is the same explanation they gave for Afghanistan. And then the follow-up explanation never came. They send out their lawyers to spin, they hope it goes away, and the compliant Democrat-friendly news media doesn't report on anything ever again. Locked in right now, and, and we're still in the midst of this arrangement, uh, so we're going to be very careful about uh, uh, being too predictive. Uh, but, uh... Then why announce on se the anniversary of September 11th? You should have announced this once the once the hostages that Iran took were back on friendly soil. Duh. This this step to transfer these funds that's the next critical step in this process. Obviously, we want to get these Americans home. As Wait a minute. If this is Iran's money, what funds are you transferring? Can't they just go to their uh, bank account in South Korea and access their PIN? So either this is money in an account that already belongs to the revolutionary government of Iran, or you, John Kirby, have moved the $6 billion into an American account and now have to hand them their money with a wire transfer. Why are you involved in that at all? As soon as possible. Uh, we believe we're working and we're on track to do that uh, in the very near future. But in terms of giving you an actual date or on the calendar when that would happen, certainly vis-a-vis -vis the General Assembly uh, next week in New York, I'm just not able to do that. Uh, and we're, but, we are, but we are working it, Andrea. We're working it very, very hard. Um, the U.S. has also agreed to turn over to Iran five Iranians who are being held in jail in the U.S. Well, why are they being held in jail, Andrea Mitchell? Could you possibly mention that they are criminals on charges? Oh, why would we do that? We're all Democrats here. Don't want to make it sound worse than it actually is. Uh, what kind of offenses were those people convicted of? Well, again, I, I, they're, they're, this is all part of the uh, arrangement, and we're not still... We're not he doesn't care what they're convicted of. He's a political hack. His job is to make Joe Biden look good, and for you, as a loyal American citizen, to go vote for Joe Biden in the next election. Do you have any concerns about the tone of President Raisi's interview today on some of these tough issues? Because things had been... Tough issues? We gave them $6 billion for five hostages they took for no reason at all in Iran. That's a tough issue? Only because Joe Biden made it a tough issue. Just don't give them the money and send in the Navy SEALs to get those hostages back. Moving towards a possible warming in that there have been no attacks by Iranian-backed forces for more than a year now against Americans in the region in Syria and Iraq and the region. How does she have that specific number? Was it because the Biden White House handed it to her as a talking point to mention? What kind of journalism interview is this? And perhaps with that cooling, they could begin to talk about um, other things. He's nodding, almost as if his staff handed her the questions to ask. Already, suppose we agreed in the last month to... Oh, thank God, Andrea's asking the question we handed her to ask. ...a hold on further enrichment uh, at a higher weapons grade level. They're at 60, but not to 90, where it begins to be enough for a nuclear weapon. Well, every, all, all of what you said is still the case. There haven't been any recent attacks on, on our American forces in Iraq or, or Syria. Uh, they did claim to... But it could happen if we don't pay up the $6 billion bribe. ...be making some, uh, some decreases in their uh, uranium enrichment, which is all to the good. And we are... Wait a minute. The Iran nuclear deal, negotiated by current Biden employee... John Kerry, who was Secretary of State under Barack Obama, said that there wasn't going to be any Iranian nuclear bombs being made. Why is he acting like that's just accepted? Does that mean the Biden administration and the Obama administration lied to the American people about the Iran nuclear deal?
Still on track, as I said earlier, uh, to get these Americans home. We're going to be very careful what we say publicly here because that's what matters. It's the only thing that matters. We don't want to offend the Iranians. They're more powerful than us, and we bow to their national sovereignty. Is getting those Americans home to their families. Uh, so we're going to be careful how much we, we, uh, uh, we telegraph publicly here about motivations of the other side. My job is to spin with whatever my staff handed to me. I'm a political hack. I am a complete disgrace. I am paying ransom for Americans, and I'm freaking happy about that. Uh, again, I don't, I can't explain what, why the president spoke in, in such the strident terms that he did with Lester. He'll have to answer. Because it's a victory lap. That all I can tell you is uh, we're working hard to get these Americans home. And the other thing that it was important to remember, Andrew, is that we're not, you know, we're not trying to fight <coughs> some red post mont with Iran right now. We still are holding Iran accountable for the way they're treating their people back home, the protesters. We're still holding them accountable for the uh, attacks on maritime shipping. For on the Fox News interview, which is not up, John Kirby said that this humanitarian payment of $6 billion will go straight to the Iranian people, with whom we have no issue with. Well, yes, sir, that's true. But if you remember the cell phone revolution, the Green Revolution, back in 2009, that the Iranian people attempted over their cruel regime, they begged for help from President Barack Obama, and because President Barack Obama agreed with all the policies and goals of the revolutionary mullahs running Iran, Obama turned a blind eye, a deaf ear, to those Iranian people begging for our aid in getting rid of the cruel mullahs. And over the next few years, the mullahs arrested anybody who was a troublemaker and tortured them to death. Those people of Iran do not have a friend in the United States if the United States is run by Barack Obama or Joe Biden. Providing drones to Russia in Ukraine and for their support to terrorist networks throughout the region. All of this bad behavior is still going on and we are still working very hard. Now they can do it with even more cash. Thanks, John Kirby. This action by the Biden administration is not a fair trade. It tells every other bad actor around the world to kidnap Americans. Biden will pay you billions and release any prisoners we have from your country convicted of crimes. It's this sort of double talk that defined how the Biden administration celebrated their perfect withdrawal from Afghanistan. We are led by idiots. Think back to the morning of September 11, 2001. On our anniversary, the Biden administration paying ransom to Islamic terrorists. Story of the day that's developing right now here in New York City. A plane has crashed into one of the twin towers. This is our legacy from 9-11. You can hear the live audience reaction. They're horrified. A plane has hit a single tower and it must be an accident. But there is a fire going on there. I, I made it just inside, just in time. I was with the kids, and we, um, oh my gosh, something just exploded. a close-up view, I guess. Something just exploded. Maybe that plane had something in it. The phone's ringing because a second plane has just hit the other tower. You can see the flames. Uh, when something like this happens, it's such a, an air, a mass destruction, you have to wonder about... Oh, look at that. The audience just noticed. This is live. This is the next building. Jumped yeah. over to the building. So, you go from 2001, we're going to stand tall against Islamic terrorism, and you go back to the Biden administration this week. We're going to reward Islamic terrorism, because that's how Joe Biden operates. Thank you.